of a very busy festival weekend around Kentuckiana and one of the most colorful is Kentuckiana Pride. Lots of singing, music and dancing Saturday at the base of the Big Four Bridge for the 21st annual Kentuckiana Pride Festival. I didn't get to see the parade because of school but I'm glad I got to see the um, festival. For Asia Franklin, it's her first time. She attended the festival with her grandma, mom and younger sister. It's amazing. <laughs> And just being, them being here in general is more than what I need and it's better than having my friends here. More than 120 vendors were set up as musical acts took to the stage and some of the city's top drag queens and performers drew in cheers from the audience. Crowds were out, they were so excited to see everybody. I thought we had a good time, did you have a good time? Yeah, no, it was a great time, especially after a whole year off. It was great just for everyone to come out and celebrate again. Last year's event, which usually takes place in June, was canceled. Safety precautions were in place Saturday. Attendees needed to show proof of vaccination or a recent negative COVID test to get in. There was also rapid testing and a vaccination station. We postponed to October, obviously, and as the year went on, they were telling us, please have it, please have it, that we'd be, do whatever you have to do to make it safe. Many of the 25,000 attendees came out in their pride or Halloween best, saying the weekend is all about acceptance. And I think that's super important, not only for kids coming up, but also people in other parts of Kentucky that maybe not get that where they live. It's that family aspect organizers say has always been a goal and a weekend where inclusivity and acceptance was front and center. Heartwarming and welcoming to see there's people like me out here and I'm not just the only one. Performers this weekend included Tiffany, Todrick Hall, and Neon Tree.